Welcome Nameless Trailblazer to Honkai Star Rail in D&D. I'm Zeo Striker and I'll be the conductor guiding you through this build. Today's commission will be about the dazzling ninja, Rappa. First we'll start with Rappa's species, which is Tiefling. This gives her dark vision up to 60 feet and she chooses the Abyssal Legacy, which gives her Charisma as this modifier. This gives her Poison Spray and Thaumaturgy Cantrips and will give her more ninja arts later. Rappa also picks up common sign language and elvish language proficiencies. Next is Rappa's background. She'll pick up Wayfarer, which gives her proficiency in insight, stealth, and alchemist supplies. Then she also gets the Lucky Feet, which gives her luck points, and she can spend the point to give herself advantage on a d20 test, or she can give advantage to an attack made against her. She gets points back after a long rest. Rappa finishes up with a plus two to dexterity and a plus one to charisma. Now finishing up with Rappa's stats, she'll go standard array and get an 8 in strength, 14 in dexterity, 13 for constitution, 10 in intelligence, 12 in wisdom, and a 15 in charisma. Thanks to Wayfair, Rappa wraps up with a 16 in both dexterity and charisma. To start things off, Rappa will be a ninja, or I mean, a rogue. At level 1 rogue, Rappa gets proficiency with acrobatics, sleight of hand, perception, and investigation. She immediately gets expertise in stealth and acrobatics. She then gets proficiency in thieves' cants and the abyssal languages. Rappa also gets the most crucial feat being sneak attack, where she can deal extra damage or other effects at higher levels if you achieve the right conditions. Lastly, she gets Weapon Mastery and picks up a Short Sword Vex and Dagger Nick. Vex lets Rappa get advantage on her next attack if she hits, and Nick lets her make an extra attack as a part of her action instead of the bonus action. The best combo for Rogue. At level 2 Rogue, Rappa gets Cunning Action. This lets her dash, dodge, or disengage as a bonus action instead of an action. Level 3 Rogue gives Rappa her subclass being Soul Knife. First she gets Steady Aim though, which can give her advantage on her attack if she doesn't move for a bonus action. Rappa then gets Psionic Powers, which gives her several uses that she can use in a couple of ways. She can use them to increase the likelihood of her succeeding an ability check, or can mentally lick several creatures to be able to talk telepathically for a few hours. She gets back a use on short rest and all back on a long rest. Rappa also gets Psychic Blades that form whenever she makes an attack and they have the Vex Mastery. Her species also gives her the Ninja Art Ray of Sickness that she can use once a day for free. Level 4 Rogue gives Rappa an ability score improvement being a plus 2 to dex making it an 18. At level 5 Rogue, Rappa gets Uncanny Dodge and Cunning Strike. Uncanny Dodge lets her use a reaction to take half damage from an attack. While Cunning Strike lets her reduce sneak attack damage to do one of three things, attempting to poison, trip, or withdraw from the target. Her species also gets her the Ninja Art Hold Person that she can use once a day as well. With those levels established, we can jump over to Bard for a few. At level 1 Bard, Rappa gets a proficiency in the Pan Flute and Arcana skills. She also gets Bardic Inspiration, which allows her to inspire herself or an ally to help with a d20 ability check. She also gets access to more ninja arts and picks up the cantrips Starry Wisp and Vicious Mockery. Rappa also picks up the first level ninja arts Color Spray, Fairy Fire, Featherfall, and Silvery Barbs. Level 2 Bard gives Rappa Jack of All Traits. This gives her half proficiency in all skills she isn't already proficient in. She also gets expertise in Arcana and Perception. Rappa also picks up the ninja art Silent Image. Level 3 Bard gives Rappa the subclass College of Whispers. Rappa gets another version of Psychic Blades. These let her spend a Bardic to have one of her attacks deal additional psychic damage. Rappa also gets Words of Terror, which lets her try to frighten a creature she talks to for at least a minute. She also gets access to level 2 ninja arts and picks up Invisibility. At level 4 Bard, Rappa gets another ability score improvement. She gets a plus 2 to Charisma, making it 18. Rappa also picks up another cantrip being Dancing Lights and the ninja art Mirror Image. At level 5 Bard, Rappa gets Font of Inspiration, which lets Rappa get back Bardic Inspiration on short rests, long rests, or by spending a spell slot. She also gets access to 3rd level Ninja Arts and picks up Major Image and Stinking Cloud. Trailblazer, if you're liking the video so far, make sure to like and subscribe so that we can meet other Nameless. But back to the video. Level 6 Bard gives Rappa Mantle of Whispers, so when a humanoid dies near her, she can use her ninja arts to capture its shadow and use it to transform into that humanoid for an hour and can do this once a short rest or a long rest. She also picks up the ninja art Phantasmal Force. 
With that done, she can jump back over to Rogue. Level 6 Rogue gives Rappa expertise in Insight and Investigation. At level 7 Rogue, Rappa gets Reliable Talent and Evasion. Reliable Talent means that if Rappa rolls a 9 or lower on a skill she's proficient in, it's treated as a 10 instead. Evasion means that if Rappa makes a dex save, she'll take no damage on success and half damage on a failure. At level 8 Rogue, Rappa gets another ability score improvement, and here she'll get a plus 2 to Charisma, making it 20. Level 9 Rogue gives Rappa Soul Blades. This lets her spend the use of her psionic powers to give her attacks homing to try and hit a target she missed or to throw her blade and teleport to it. Level 10 Rogue gives Rappa another ability score improvement and she'll get a plus 2 to dexterity, making it a 20. At level 11 Rogue, Rappa gets improved Cunning Strike, which lets her pick two effects for sneak attack instead of one as long as both costs are paid. At level 12 Rogue, she gets her last ability score improvement and picks up the feat Speedy. This gives her a plus 1 to constitution, making it 14. She also gets 10 extra feet of movement speed. If she takes a dash action, then difficult terrain doesn't affect her, and all opportunity attacks have disadvantage against her. Level 13 Rogue gives Rappa Psychic Veil. This lets her use her ninja arts to turn invisible up to an hour and ends early if she attacks somebody. She can do this once a day unless she spends a use of her psionic powers. The last level for Rappa is level 14 Rogue. Here she gets Devious Strikes that lets her daze, knock out, or obscure her target when using Cunning Strikes. And that concludes the best ninja of the Galaxy Rangers, Rappa. You better keep your eye on her or else you might miss her. But let's go over the picks for the build. Her main class being a rogue was pretty obvious, but Soul Knife gave us access to her unique weapon. To get her ninja arts, aka her spells, Bard was the best for the utility and disruptive spells, and it's pretty easy to flavor those spells as graffiti or rap. The College of Whispers subclass just gives us her extra damage and can be flavored as her busting a rhyme as she attacks. Her race being a tiefling is just because uh, she has horns on her hat and I felt like the abilities fit her nicely. But thank you Trailblazer for watching this video. You can find more commissions to watch here and leave a comment if there's anything you would change for this build. Don't forget to like and subscribe too. Until next time, I wish you all a great morning, evening, or afternoon. Ciao ciao!